Dark Ones, how are you guys? Spiritual Barbie here. Welcome back to the channel, you guys. Welcome back if you're returning and welcome if you're new. My beautiful Aqua friends. Um, you guys, this is your love and romance reading. Okay, for the 9th of August, you guys. Alright, so this is for your love relationship. So as you guys might already know, you might not know this, some of these videos are sponsored by Keen, which is a, um, a network of trusted psychic advisors. So these are psychics, mediums, clairvoyants, tarot readers, you name it, right? And these people are amazing readers and they're available all the time. At any time, you can find a very qualified psychic. And you guys have a special deal that Keen offered me recently for you guys, only for the people here on the YouTube channel, that you guys can get your first 10 minutes on Keen for $1.99, right? Isn't that crazy? Yup, sure did. They sure, yup, they sure did. Mm-hmm. Baby, you know I signed up for that so quick. So I expect every single one of y'all to run on down there, okay? Sign up, right? All right, and I got you guys with a link, right? Yes. I got you guys with a link. The link is in the description right down below. It's trykeen.com. So that's trykeen, T R Y K double -E -E N.com forward slash spiritual barbie. <laughs> yeah, I already know. Um, and the link is also in the description bar as well. So you guys have fast, easy access through there. And um, I can't wait for you guys to give that a try and find what you've been looking for. So my beautiful aqua friends, we've gotten that all out of the way. You guys know I love you. I love you guys all so much, okay? Lastly, remember to like this reading. If you like this this um, video and you like this reading, please remember to like this video by pressing the thumbs up button below this video. And thank you to all you guys who support this channel in all the ways and in any way that you guys choose to. You guys mean so much to me. Okay? Each and every single one of you guys mean everything to me. Okay, Thank you guys. Let's get started. So what's going on in your love relationship? I don't know, right? That's why we're here to find out what we can expect on the week of the 9th of August. All right, These readings are really amazing. You really have to just live your life and it's really crazy. Like It still stuns me to this day. So Aquarius, you guys are getting some strength this week in your connection. You guys have the angel of strength to overcome any problem, any issue, any block that you guys find yourself in. Whether it's an internal block or an external block, you have this angel here helping you to give you power, the power you need in whatever way you need to come out of this situation, to see it more clearly, to, 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 to free yourself from shackles and binds, to, to be more consistent enough to produce the results that you want and get the results that you're looking for, um, to... Uh, you know, be more emotionally grounded and, and satiated enough to ask for things that you know you deserve as opposed to settling for things that you know you don't. There's all of that is here, okay? To free yourself, to free this connection, to get it to the next, to the highest vibration, to, to get its full power. Boom, all right? This connection is maturing this week. Maturity is coming into play this week, you guys. You know, you have some very mature energy around you, okay? Like, a lot of the energy that you're going to be coming into contact with, as well as, like, um, any sort of, like, energy that you're feeling around you, it's it's an energy that's trying to get you to mature or it's trying to make you see how much you have matured, okay? And that because you have matured, that's the reason why the strength is coming for you or it, that you have the strength around you. Because this strength, it feels like it's power, but it's like, it's power that it's unshakable. It's power that gets you going. It's the kind of power that it, 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 keeps, your, it keeps you standing upright and it keeps you going even if there's not adversities though which most times there isn't really that much of an adversity it's just a strength that gets you out of bed and gives you that who you you know makes you who you are hopefully you understand what i'm talking about and if you don't you'll understand this week so this connection is also getting a bolster in love okay this connection is also maturing as well so it's also getting a bolster in love where you guys are like just able to love each other more fully and like not pick each other apart whatever it is that's making it so you're loving each other in little fractions as opposed to the whole 
you guys are coming out maturing out of what it causes you to do that okay so, um, I'm hearing Sagittarius but okay Aquarius hopefully you understand so what messages does spirit have about your connection this week Aquarius and spirit has to say that like you guys are going to be forgiving each other because it's amazingly powerful and liberating okay and it doesn't mean that you're letting it be okay that people did whatever they did or certain things happen you're not saying that but at least it's not controlling you anymore and um it's better to move on from it because then you know it's really not controlling you anymore as opposed to when you're holding on to that grudge it's it you know you never deserve to be mistreated anyway, so why hold on to the anger of being mistreated as well? You know what I'm saying? Why hold on to the anger? And that's such a queen. And I'm like, that makes sense with me. Because I'm a thinker. And I, you know what I'm saying? And then I just realized I'm doing swords. It's swords day. It's air day. So that's something that will really make you understand it. It's like, you didn't deserve to be mistreated. So why you got to hold on to the anger of being mistreated as well? When you never deserved it to begin with. Fuck them. All right? So here we go. What's this connection going through in the tarot? What's the, what's this connection looking like? Just, just show me what it's like, spirit. Because sometimes I'm like, do you already know what I'm going to ask you? Just put the cards down. Let's get this reading going. You know how it is. I just hate having to be like, okay, so let me specify. And let me, let me, let me. You should just know what I'm thinking. Um, I'm talking to my spirit guides. Okay, but um, you guys, there's a lot of happiness and prosperity, longevity, like celebration. A lot of positive, prosperous energy is coming in your connection this week and you guys are also gonna be making peace with the past and feeling like a, a sense of like like the love and the emotions that you guys have with one another it's coming out of a time of being separate from each other and coming into a more of a blissful time and coming into making peace with that time where you guys were shut apart from each other so it's a really powerful week it's really powerful I'm sweating right now so how is this person feeling for you feeling about you this week and this connection this week this person feels very nourished very well supported in every way or in, in a very real physical way in an extremely realistic way and in a way that's very realistic for them they feel extremely supported by you and and, and in this relationship Oof. I'm having a cloth issue you guys it's my like tablecloth so this person feels extremely supported and nurtured okay and they also feel like you put in a lot of effort to like keep this relationship going or to make sure that certain things are a certain way like so physical things material aspects of this connection are a certain way and they see that and they appreciate that okay so this person dang we have the king and queen of coins i'm gonna just go ahead and adjust this cloth i don't know why it's choosing to piss me off today usually it's like in the corner but sometimes it kind of goes in a weird spot and it starts making my legs itch a little bit all right, you guys, so this person, they see you as like their perfect counterpart, especially, but it doesn't matter if this person's an earth sign, they see you as their perfect counterpart, but it doesn't matter. They just feel like you are very grounded and what you're asking for, what you're wanting is something that you deserve. This person feels like you give them the things that they deserve and you are like very respectful of them. It feels like the way that they're feeling about you is how they feel like you treat them as well okay so can spirit tell me more about this i'm not sure why i'm getting this hit off this person okay because i need to like chill and also there's some healing needed because whatever this person is feeling about you you somebody here has some trauma that's blocking them from receiving this truth and believing this as a truth so someone here fights with this truth or someone is going to be fighting with their person's truth about them because they don't think that they're good enough so someone here who doesn't believe that their person truly feels this way about them, you don't think that you're good enough and then you're projecting that onto your person. And that's the burden that you're carrying because that comes from your friendships is what I'm hearing. Okay? It, it wasn't even actually a person that you dated that did you that way. It was like a friend that did you that way. So then you fully can understand that you can just rest. Okay? So this person, they're healing, and this person is very healed as well. They're very connected to their inner child. It's like they have the mind or even the heart of a child, and so they don't see you in like a tainted way, okay? And it's funny because this person's mind or heart being that of a child and a very creative, sweet child still doesn't stop this person from seeing you in, in your whole grounded, fully grounded light. So that has nothing to do with this person. It doesn't matter if this person is a certain way they are very they're very smart and they're they're very they're much smarter than they let on and they're much smarter than you think 
way smarter than you think. And um, but this person just likes to live a peaceful life that's small. They like things that are small. They don't like they just like to be happy. Um, but this person sees you fully. And also, I feel like this person is also stepping into some form of abundance for themselves, like feeling much more abundant. But they've also got some abundance themselves um, and they want to share it with you. OK, and this is all happening this week. Yes. They also feel like they see you outside and they see you in nature. It's really beautiful. This person is very, very connected to nature, the earth, spirit, trees, grass, plants, um, animals. This person is very, this person spends a great deal of time outside. You know, this person spends a great deal of time taking care of animals or children and stuff like that. It's a very pure soul, okay? So Aquarius, for you guys, you guys are concluding a cycle. There's a cycle here that's completing. It's been a long-awaited cycle. And how you guys are feeling about them, it's like it's trying to ascend. It's like everything around you is causing it to ascend. But you're not letting it, you're not fully letting go of your previous interpretation of this person to see them more fully. Okay? And you might be trying to figure out a way to do it. And it feels like there's really not much you can do. To come out of this you just have to let it just um pass through okay because this is something that's go you're gonna move out of this energy anyways you're gonna get the upper ground to whatever this is anyways okay because this is a cycle that you definitely want to complete but you feel like you can't complete okay and what is this cycle around what is this phase it's like a love phase. You guys want the love or you guys are feeling the love that you have for this person growing, rising, wanting to begin again, wanting to be reborn in a different way um, through a question, through something. And you're resisting it. You're not letting it come up. Why isn't Aquarius letting it come up? I wonder why. You guys will let it come up. Okay. If you guys are resisting it right now, having a hard time embracing this at this time, you know, whatever, you're going to be able to just let this happen because you're going to get the upper ground from anything that's worrying you and making you have a hard time trusting in the love that's coming towards you and that's always been available for you. You were just shut out from the fullness of the world because you were going through learning lessons and spiritual growth or whatever you were on, whatever path you were on that shut you out from seeing that, that the world or that this connection was much bigger than you were letting it um, that you were then you were seeing it for everything was much bigger everything was much more expansive than you were letting it than you were thinking of it as I almost feel a little silly I feel a little bit of frustration I've been feeling that lately in the weeks with the readings I feel a heavy amount of anger and like frustration anxiety the collective is extremely anxious I need the personal monthlies if you guys are naturally anxious for a job like if you guys are anxious for a living, you should get the personal monthlies because that will definitely help you guys. You guys definitely, you guys are super anxious. Um, and I feel that energy off the collective. I started feeling that the last week of July, I started feeling that for the readings. And it's been ever since then, the readings, the energy, especially for the air signs, you guys have been so anxious. And I don't know if it's the energy that's coming up. I'm not exactly sure what's causing it. But it feels, I'm feeling this energy off of you guys right now. It's like this feel, these feelings of unworthiness. You guys don't feel worthy. Or maybe you're even trying to send this my way. Some, somebody could be even trying to send this my way. Trying to make me feel unworthy. Isn't that fucking stupid? Um, isn't that dumb as shit? You know, some dumb bitch with a candle. You know, that's what happens. They sell them at home goods, and everybody thinks that they're a witch. It's really unfortunate and sad. I can feel you sending it my way. If that's the case, and that's pretty pathetic because I'm doing a reading for a collective of people. And it's very selfish. But it's fine. That's why you're a loser and your magic doesn't work. But, um, you know, if that's not the case and that this is the energy of the collective, then um, because it could be both. I definitely I've been feeling a rough, a, a wave of energy, like just a lot of negativity, a lot of not feeling good enough, a lot of um, uh, like just anger as well. And there's nothing but love on these boards. But letting the love come up in the reading i don't know why it's very difficult and i feel like if you're going through this i'm going to draw a card for it so that you can understand this um but i'm sure that spirit has a message because it wouldn't keep coming up it's like literally every time i click on the like start to do the readings i feel that like negative energy fear-based energy and i'm like like what could this be could it be spell work could it be like 
just like is it the collective what is it like it's just so freaking weird it's so weird i want to get a tarot card but i want a full deck i guess i'll use this deck then all right so what is this energy that is coming up for you know all the signs or i guess you know just what is this energy i was just speaking of it's energy of potential different potentialities opening up okay but resisting it okay and not feeling positive about the potential possibilities looking to the negative possibilities because you're looking to define your future based off of what you lost in your past okay so it's thankfully it's not something sending dark energy thankfully i'm like i really hope i didn't attract anybody on my channel that, that that's that evil but i mean hey you know what we all attract fucked up things who knows why but um, it really feels like it's definitely a lot of different potentialities and possibilities. I have had people send me energy and it has come up in this way. It's been energy that I surmounted very easily though. And it usually crushed the person who sent it to me. But um, for the most part, I really feel like this is um, your possibilities opening up and you kind of feeling frightened of the possibilities. And so you're not letting them all come to pass, okay? You're not letting them all show up. Oof, I definitely feel some really heavy energy some of you guys you know some of you guys you know what you get into just try to clean your energy i guess okay try to practice spiritual hygiene or emotional hygiene just to clear off negative energy because it definitely feels like there could be somebody trying to put some like sticky energy some of you guys but i wouldn't get paranoid about that those people who do that if you didn't do anything to wrong somebody then you have no reason to worry okay just clean your energy just clean it and then you won't even think about anybody doing that to you all right so you guys i believe i even staged when i came on so just clean all right you guys so let's have a deeper look at the unfoldings and the happenings of this week in your connection so as we begin this week you guys have a new beginning in honesty prosperity love within this connection within this connection i hope you heard me okay within this connection and um, it's one where you guys will be expressive with one another and very open with each other and also free yourself from negativity and limitations, okay? This is a very creative new beginning, but it's emotionally expressive and vulnerable. You guys are going to start being vulnerable with one another. Vulnerability, okay? And connecting in a new way that's very deep and emotional, but also um, it, it's in a way that it's when emotions were not what they are today. So back when emotions were nice when you kind of liked feelings you know back when they were sweet and pure and untainted unsullied okay this is what this connection is returning to this week this is what's happening this week in this connection in the recent past we had a very happy unfolding in the recent past so a lot of you guys you could be going through this right now as i upload this reading some happy event has just recently you got some happy news, you made some happy plans with your person, you're really happy about stuff, or it's happening before this week even hits, okay? But there's, or it's already happened, right? Um, but there is some really happy plans being made. You guys have overcome something really serious. You've gotten some really positive news as well from this person. It's very truthful, it's from their heart, it's very truthful. This person couldn't lie about whatever this is if they wanted to. I don't even think they would lie about this stuff. And you guys have also surmounted something. You've had a victory over something. And you've cut out all the negative energy and let in the full-on light. Look at you guys, Aquarius. And you cut out the negative energy in this connection and let in the light. All right? So, you know, you guys have been waiting for whatever this is. You guys have been waiting patiently. This connection has been patiently waiting for something to bloom. And during this time, you guys have been wor working hard, chopping wood, carrying water, focusing on yourselves focusing on your lives, getting a little bit impatient and frustrated, but still waiting on things, okay? And what you guys are going to be thinking on in your connection is the long term. You guys might have some sort of blessing come to pass or manifest physically, where, whether it's a blessed reunion or even a home purchase, a child going off to college, a child starting school, some sort of phase in your love connection ending that ends with a gift or ends with something beautiful replacing it okay and this is something that everybody will enjoy together 
and you guys are reflecting on becoming more of a family as well you guys are if you guys are not like a family you guys are becoming more and more and more and more like a family if you already have a family with this person you are thinking a lot about the family that you've made with this person now you guys have been working on stuff and being patient about things and whatever this was these were burdens this was a stressful cycle but this was burdens which you were waiting for okay and this is a cycle that you're completing as well you guys were waiting for burdens all right this connection it was it was it was put into delay because of burdens that you guys were carrying okay because and that's the burden it's like you guys were not really waiting for anything because this outcome was always set to happen it's just that you guys were overburdened with disbelief lack of faith fear not feeling good enough i just felt all this stuff attacking my solar plexus chakra that's how i feel when i come on these readings sometimes like my solar plexus chakra is like under attack and it literally only happens when i turn on the camera once i turn off this camera i do somersaults and cartwheels and if you knew me in real life you know i'm not kidding when i say i do somersaults and cartwheels if you know me in real life and you really know me and it's not like you know me because i can't stand you it's like you know me because you know me you know i do somersaults and cartwheels like literally i'm a very happy person and i'm my solar plexus chakra is probably the only chakra you cannot shake in me because it's been the only chakra that was under attack as when i was little so i've learned for a very long time how to protect it so that's the only chakra that nobody can i don't really feel that ever hitting me or impacting me it's always very strong it's always very strong but as soon as i get on here it just feels like whoa i feel so unsteady i'm like oh whoa whoa and i feel like i need to steady out okay i need to know your know your worth you guys are beautiful you guys need to know your worth okay and ascend and, and know that it's not like know your worth so go for your worth it's like know your worth and know that good things come for you okay good things are coming for you you're ascending all right now you guys you know you can reach out to me on the site i offer, I offer services i understand a lot of people go through negative things a lot of people also go through spiritual attack and i didn't know how crazy that shit was until i did it to myself <laughs> I, I put myself under spiritual attack once I'm, yeah listen i'm a student of the occult i like the occult fuck it put me under it and i did it and i was like holy shit if i was not if i didn't know how to get myself out of this i'd be freaking out okay so i understand i know i should be more available for you guys i know i'm not the most available or accessible person i make it that way on purpose because i'm very i'm a loner i like being alone it's not like i don't like you guys i love you guys i love you guys so much you guys mean everything to me. it's just all i do all i think about is like tarot spirituality like my craft so you guys mean a lot to me um i just am someone who likes to be alone but I understand so you guys feel free to reach out to me on the site and talk to me a lot of you guys have been and I've been getting back to you so don't be afraid some of you guys are dealing with heavy energy and you don't have to sit and deal with this you can just there's solutions to whatever this is okay especially if you've been spiritually attacked okay god bless you guys I love you I was gonna draw a flower which I still am before I go okay so let's get a flower before I um dash off and dash away and we have affection and determination this person is showing you affection and this person is bringing determination to this connection once they, and i just thought i would bring this up these are morning glory flowers which are these are an interesting flower for anybody who knows about the morning glories okay so this person is going to be showing you affection and there's going to be a lot of determination returning to your connection this person is very determined to be with you they might have already let you know this or they're going to let you know this okay and then you guys have this wonderful new beginning in, in vulnerability and emotional connectivity do you know what that means all right god bless you guys i love you i'll talk to you guys soon all right bye bye and thank you guys for all your love and support thank you guys for the likes and i'll see you guys on the flip side ta-ta